when I ask you to name a one point that's on a line and I give you the equation, it's all about can you read the equation? Do you know what it means to be in these different forms? And the first form, y equals 2x minus or plus 5, that's slope-intercept form, meaning that 5 is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is a point, and I want you to label it as a point for this problem. Um, since it's on the y-axis, it has an x-coordinate of 0, and then the y-coordinate would be 5. In the second one, this is point-slope form. So this will tell us what the x-coordinate uh, of a point is, and this will tell us what the y-coordinate of a point is. So when we think about the ordered pair, the x-coordinate isn't going to be 7. It's going to be negative 7. And the y-coordinate isn't going to be four, negative 4. It'll be positive 4. But that's point-slope form for you. The point is sitting right there. Now, when it's in one of these other two forms, uh, the points aren't necessarily um, just sitting there right in front of you. It's not in part C going to be 3, negative 4, or negative 3, positive 4. You actually have to calculate it. But it's easy enough to calculate the point because all you got to do is put 0 in for something. So I'm going to take uh, 0 and just arbitrarily plug it in for Y. The reason I picked Y was because I noticed that Y has this negative on it, and I don't like negative numbers that much. So if I plug 0 in there, negative 4 times 0, that's just 0. So I got this equation, 3X is equal to 4Y. And I just divide by 3, and X is equal to 16. That means that's the X-intercept. So it has an X-coordinate of 16, and the Y-coordinate was 0. That's it. So for the next form, let's do the same thing. Let's plug 0 in for, um, for Y, just like we did last time. Uh, I'll pick Y this time because uh, Y has a 2 in front of it, and X doesn't have anything. So x should be pretty easy to solve for. When I plug 0 in for y, this term drops out, and I have x minus 9 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 9. That would be my x-intercept, 9, 0, and that's it. So when it's in slope-intercept form or point-slope point slope form, you can just pull the point right out of the equation. When it's in any of the other forms, just plug 0 in for something and find a point.